Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete SQL instances, databases and SQL users in GCP using the GCP console. I have logged into my Google account. Click the navigation menu. Click here SQL. So here you have three options, three database engine options. One is the MySQL, Postgres SQL and the SQL Server. So for this demo purpose, I am going to choose MySQL. You need to give an instance ID. So I'm going to give the instance name as demo SQL and I can give an option as no password also. So I'm going to select that option as no password, but that's not recommended. But uh, since it is just for the demo purpose, I'm selecting the option as no password. And the database version, we have 8, 5.7 and 5.6. I'll leave the default 8, right? And we need to choose a configuration. So this is just for the demo purpose. So I'm just going to select this development, right? So you can further see the configuration details because since it is development, so it has selected the configuration as single zone with the two CPU and AGB memory. So if you would have selected production, so it is going to be highly available. It is not going to be single zone and it is going to be four CPU and 26 GB of memory, right? So now we need to choose the region and the zonal availability. Since it is just for the demo purpose, I'm going to go with the option of single zone and I will leave the region as the default US central one. So again, in the single zone, you have an option to specify which zone you want. So I will select as US central one C. Further customization options are available. Click the show configuration options. So here you will be able to select the machine type. So you have an option to customize the machine type. So by default, now it has selected the high memory. So I can select it. I can change it to shared core. So then obviously it is going to be 1B CPU and 1.7 GB memory. And the storage, again, you have the option to use either SSD or the HDD. HDD is a lower performance, but SSD is recommended, but just demo purpose. So I'm just moving to HD and I storage capacity also. I'll select as 10 GB, right? So you have the advanced encryption option. By default, it is going to use the Google Manage encryption key. But if you want to use a customer manage encryption key, you can do that. And the connections here, the public IP is enabled. So if you want to disable that, you can do that. And if you want to add in network, you can do that. And the data protection. So automatically it is going to take a backup. And this is the time in which it is going to take the backup. And also uh, point in time recovery is enabled. So since as part of this demo, we are going to show even the deletion of the instance. So I am going to remove this enable deletion protection. If you enable deletion protection is there, it will not allow the uh, user to delete the instance. The maintenance, you can specify any maintenance window. So at, during that time, it will do that maintenance. And the order of update also, you'll be able to provide any later or earlier. And you can add a database flag. So you'll be able to do the query insights configuration. So if you wanted to add any label, you'll be able to add the label. Hide configuration options. Now click create instance. So while the instance is getting created, let us review the configuration. So here you'll be able to see the charts, different charts like the CPU utilization, total memory usage, active connections, disk read write operations, log entries by severity. So all these charts you'll be able to see here. And this is the information connection name information available using which we'll be able to connect to this instance. So and it gives the mission instance configuration one CPU and 1.7 GB. Operation logs, it's saying it is the instance is being created and the maintenance window, it is Saturday 11.30 PM to 12.30 AM. And also here you can specify that you wanted to see the data for one hour, six hours, one day. So all these things are possible here. You can see the storage usage. So all these information you'll be able to see here. The SQL instance demo SQL has been successfully created. First, let's create a SQL user. Click add user account. So we will call this as a user one. And then you can 
give any password and this, this user will be able to connect to the SQL instance from any host click add so we have added a new user user1 so if you wanted to later change the password you can change the password so if you wanted to edit the password policy you'll be able to do it if you wanted to remove the user you can remove it so next let's go and create a database click create database i am going to create the sample database click create so the database has been successfully created you can see it here so if you wanted to delete the database later you can delete here right let's go to the connections okay so you can see this is the connection name which has to be used for connecting let's go to the overview page so from here you will be able to open the cloud shell and connect to this instance click open cloud shell so this is the g cloud sql command which we need to use to connect to this instance click enter So now it is allow listing or IP. So we have not given any password. So click enter. Right now we have connected to the SQL instance demo SQL. Now let us see the databases which exist in this instance. So we could see. So the five database exists. Sample is the database which we created. So now we have connected to the sample database. So now if you wanted to create a table, insert data, everything you will be able to do. Okay, let's exit. So now we have seen how to create a SQL instance, how to create a database, how to create a user. So now let's go and remove this user first. So we have deleted the user. Now go, let's go and delete the database as well. So we need to give the database name which is sample. Click delete. Database has been successfully deleted. Okay. Now let's go and delete the SQL instance as well. Right click and click delete. So now here we need to give the instance ID which is demo SQL. Click delete. Instance is getting deleted. The SQL instance demo SQL has been successfully deleted. In this video, you have seen how to create and delete SQL instances, databases and users in GCP using GCP console. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.